we've got most of the major players up here. We'll finish off with uh, Tommy Lang. Uh, that's, uh, that's our main event, WBO Interim World Middleweight title, which promises to be an absolute cracker. And I think we could start, Frank, by talking about uh, the WBO World also on the bill on Saturday. Arthur Villanueva from the Philippines, who's away on my far right, is up against uh, Zolani Tete, who we saw in a fantastic performance against Paul Butler not so long back. He's maintained his winning ways since then. And Frank, I guess, moving towards... A and as for Arthur, he's got a fantastic record. He's uh, Salami, where, where others have failed. What will the tactics be? Um, uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank uh, Frank Warren. Uh, a lot of promotion for giving this chance to, for me to fight. Um, we, we train uh, for, I think, four months to three months training, and uh, we study uh, a lot of uh, videos of the and uh, we are prepared. He's a he's a terrific boxer, isn't he? Not just a great puncher. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's good, uh, strong stuff, uh, and two world champion. Uh, uh, I I respect him uh, very much, and uh, it's my honor to fight him. Manny Pacquiao, of course, from your country. Have you have you ever met the great man? Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I met uh, Manny Pacquiao. And uh, have you have you spoken to him at all recently? Does he know about this fight coming up for you? Uh, no, because uh, he's busy uh, in the Senate. He's a uh, senator now. But uh, it would be uh, you. You must regard him as a, a bit of a hero, don't you? Is he, is he your boxing hero, Manny? Uh, of course, uh, all of uh, Filipino. Uh, uh, we acknowledge uh, Manny Pacquiao as a hero. And if uh, if you beat Salami, that would be big news for you and for the Philippines, yeah? Yeah, of course. Okay, well, wish you wish you, you all the best to that one.